welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna and I make lifestyle videos here on this channel. I make videos pertaining to life as a wife, marriage and love, money and finance, food and recipe videos, as well as travel and all things related to health. If you're interested in that, or content generally designed to educate, motivate, and inspire, then please keep watching. Today's video, I am bringing to you 10 travel hacks. Maybe you've heard of some, maybe you have it, but you haven't heard them from me. If you know me, or if you know my husband, or if you know the both of us, we love to travel. We travel a lot. And to be honest with you, this is such an amazing time in my life because when I was younger, I wanted to travel. I had a heart and a passion, but I was just really afraid. I was afraid of what my health would do when I traveled, when I stepped foot on a plane, um, or what it would be like in another country. But I have been traveling for a while now, and I kind of learned that it is okay. There's no need to be afraid. And we only get one life. I know for a fact that you and I both, we are here for a reason, a predestined reason why we are here on this earth. And I wanna live life to the fullest. So let's get into these 10 travel hacks. Hack number one is to bring an empty water bottle. Bring an empty water bottle to the airport. Something like this, something with a twist top, whatever kind of water bottle you have that's plastic and reusable, go ahead and bring an empty one to the airport. This is going to save you a lot of money on buying bottles of water. Also, when you travel, you eat, and when you travel, you get thirsty. So you're able to refill this water bottle and use it more times and avoid having to spend so much money at the airport. Tip number two is going to be to roll your clothes as opposed to folding them. So, here's a shirt. I'm just going to roll it up and I'm gonna show you how tiny it gets. So, here's my rolled up shirt. So I can fit a ton of these in my suitcase, especially if I line them up back to back to back, and it saves a ton of space rolling instead of folding. Hack number three, dryer sheets. Bring a dryer sheet and pack it in your luggage. If you are someone who's going to be away for a while and maybe you're unable to do laundry, or if you are just someone who likes things smelling new and fresh, take a sheet out and pack this dryer sheet. This makes sure that odors don't transfer if you have like dirty clothes that you're bringing back home and to make sure that everything is nice and smells good. Number four, use an empty medication bottle or maybe one of those glass things that you got as a thank you for going to someone's party. Use these items in order to store other items. I use this to store all of my earrings, the smaller studs and the earring backs keep bobby pins in here as well. If you have like a plastic container like this, what I use, it's an old like medication bottle. I'm taking the label off and I use this for my hair gel. I also have my hair toothbrush to make sure, you know, you get those edges together because who wants to travel with this? It's too big, too heavy, <sighs> such a lifesaver and saves you some space. My next tip is to use the USB charger that is either on your TV or the radio when you get to your hotel room to charge your devices. A lot of times we lose this or don't remember where it is or we can't find it. So if you just use the USB, a lot of TVs in the hotel will have a USB port. So use that in order to, to charge your device or on your nightstand where the radio is Typically there is another USB there for you to charge your materials just in case you can't find this guy. My next tip is to use the water at the gym inside your hotel. Most gyms have a water fountain inside. So because you've already packed your empty water bottle for your trip, if you need a refill, just go down to the gym. I'm sorry if things look different. I had to take some things off my memory card to clear up some space. But anyways, like I was saying, TSA PreCheck is amazing. My second to last travel hack is to download the Google Translate app. 
When you download the app, you're able to then go inside and use the offline translation mode to where you don't need internet in order to translate. So when you are abroad in a different country and you're not really sure how to say something or what something means, you can use the Google Translate app without having internet access. But download it first and then use it offline. And my very, very, very last travel hack for you is to bring your Amazon Fire Stick or your Roku or anything that you have that can be placed into your computer or to a TV when you are in another country per se or even when you're just in a different state. Sometimes the TVs in hotels are not the best and if you are abroad, the English channels may not be available. Tip for that, make sure before you leave that you have the remote to that device. Worst thing ever is to be somewhere with your fire stick and you don't have your fire stick remote. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed some of these hacks and that they are very useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you right back here real soon for another video. And remember to always fill your cup.